So I've got quite a short one for you guys today. Okay. It's about a pain off switch. So, um, I'm not sure if you've if you've heard anything about this. Effectively, what scientists have done um, at Duke University, they've uh, they found a small area in the brains of mice, which um, which they can use to turn off pain. Apparently. Oh. Yeah, which is oh, pretty what? interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So um, they found a small area in in the brain of mice which they can use to turn off pain. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, do you guys know what the amygdala is? Luke, have you heard of the amygdala? Yeah, it's the part that fires up when you have a fight or flight response. That is true, yeah. Uh, so it's the kind of, it's got emotional responses in there, decision making, fear, anxiety, aggression. Um, and yeah, so I, I was just saying that you can turn off uh, pain in a mouse's brain um, using a little part of, uh, using a little part of the amygdala. Apparently. It's also yeah. the part of the brain that is underactive in psychopaths. Oh, that's interesting. I, I think that's true. I think that's true. That's it has something to do with the amygdala. In which case, that means that your scientific study on mice is a study of making psychopathic mice. My, don't say my scientific study. I don't want people thinking. I've been upstairs in my room just dabbing rods into little mice, the brains of little mice. That's, 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 that's all Corey's doing. <laughs> wow, that's awful. Corey. Yeah, but okay. So this is another thing that kind of comes from your um, from your story, Luke. People will probably start reporting this pain off switch. In fact, I found this as scientists find a way to switch off pain mm -hmm. in the brain. And you read that and you assume, oh wow, we can turn off pain in humans' brains. Then you read it and it's actually about mice, which is sure. Have you guys seen the Twitter account? Um, just say in mice. No, I no. not. So there is a Twitter account called um, Just Say In Mice. But wherein, I can imagine what it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wherein um, it, it quote tweets articles that say something along the lines of um, cancer right. uh, cancer cells completely destroyed with no harm to other cells. And actually, if you read the article, it's in mice. But the so headline doesn't like mention that. It's like scientific clickbaiting. It, it's, it's scientific clickbaiting. And it's actually oh, a it massive is. problem. Because we do so many studies on mice, not all of them then transfer to humans. And not all of them even get to the stage of clinical trials in humans. So reporting reporting actually, a mouse study as a as an actual, like, you know, as an actual event is kind of dangerous. Yeah, that's true, actually. I remember growing up, they cured cancer about 10 times during my childhood. <laughs> but then you'd watch the news. It would be like, headline. Scientists have found a cure for cancer, and then you watch the actual news report, and it's like we've cured a very specific cancer in this this type of mouse. Yeah. Oh, someone's here. Someone's at your door. <laughs> wow. Podcasting from home. Here are the problems. Well, Lara has said in the chat. Interesting. Lara has said it, there is a disease or defect in humans where you don't feel pain, and it can be very dangerous because you don't feel if you injure yourself. Yes. Um. Actually, I was watching. Okay, I was watching an episode of House uh, the other day. What a good show! It's yeah. a very good. It's a very good show. Uh. Yeah. But n there, there are um, there are disorders where you can not feel pain, and babies end up scratching themselves and chewing their chewing through their cheeks. It it's awful. Ooh. I mean, you don't think you think about pain as a bad thing, but realistically, it's imperative to survival. On yeah. um, turning off pain in humans as well, uh, Elon Musk was recently talking on the um, on the Joe Rogan podcast because he is inventing this thing called Neuralink, which is uh, the ability to create a um, translation layer between the human brain and computers in a direct way, rather than like right now. If you want to translate information between a computer and you, well, you use your thumbs to type into a computer, uh, and you have to speak a computer language if you want to really talk into a computer and in return the computer downloads information into you through your eyes and it has to mm. translate it into a human understanding way like a way that you can understand the data and it's a very slow um data rate right it's really slow like you you to a certain extent you can download quite a lot of data from a computer in a in a picture for example there's quite a lot of data in a picture but you can't really download a lot of data from yourself into a computer it's quite a slow data rate you know um so he's been talking about this thing called Neuralink, which is a direct translation layer between human brains and computers which he is inventing and as part of it uh, one of the first things they're going to do is um they're going to be able to turn off pain in people they'll be able to like people who have chronic pain they'll be able to turn it off that's really really interesting that's really cool. and then make bionic arms that directly understand your intention yeah and eventually create a weird internet world in which we're all actually connected not like connected through twitter we are just actually connected so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna do it again guys i'm sorry tom scott 
It's actually Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> Everything comes back to Tom Scott. It always does. What an amazing man. He is an amazing man. He's got an actually really interesting video on this exact idea, wherein effectively there's a kind of a chip. It, 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 he does videos that are kind mm. of um, sort of sci-fi stories about what if. Yeah. Um, there's a kind of a chip that you can uh, have in your brain and everyone is constantly sort of uploading and downloading data. And what you're saying about like data... Um, and how, how we can get data into computers. Like, one thing that we don't actually think about is how much data we're actually giving them. Because if, if with, with your phone, you're giving it location data, you're, yeah. you're giving it data that you don't even think about, you, you're telling your phone, this is what yeah. I like to buy, and these are my habits, without even realizing it. So, Well, it's making inferences. You're not telling it. Well, yeah, I mean, location data, you're telling it, and um, your your purchase history, that's that's all data. The, the inferences that it makes is... yeah. Uh, the patterns and like why w why are the people doing that um but yeah i mean you're giving you're giving computers a whole lot more data than you than you actually think you might be uh, and the sort of brain stuff is just a just another step up from that which is pretty cool to be honest and terrifying really, yeah, i think really we'll really <laughs> terrifying <laughs> i i think that we'll eventually reach a point where you know how right now we um like our our dopamine systems and our reward systems have been so effectively hacked by social media so you feel a, a surge of positive emotion when you get say a like on a picture well i reckon at some point there'll be some kind of product like that where it's not like psychologically hooked you by through your eyes into your dopamine system it's just actually hooked into your dopamine system you just actually get a burst of dopamine when somebody does something it won't be a thing that we can possibly understand right now it's just drugs but that's just yeah you've, just you've, you've, drugs. You've, you've, you've invented drugs well we, we i haven't invented drugs the body already invented <laughs> drugs <laughs> so thank you for crediting me with the invention of drugs. I will Look go to the drugs. Yeah. 2020 drugs. and collect all my royalties. <laughs> if you enjoyed that clip, head over to patreon.com forward slash SciGuys where you can find the full show. Or you can stay here and catch up on old SciGuys episodes. Or you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at SciGuysPod to find out when we're doing more live shows. <laughs>